Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Alright, this video is Metal City, baby. Wow. New gas dwarf class of alien planets revealed. How did this story escape me? We are at the NBC News website. Alright, let's have some fun. What is a planet? Let's kick back and learn a little. We're gonna mentally go to Boston and have some cream pie. For astronomers, planets around other stars tend to come in two basic types, rocky worlds and gas giants. But now, scientists have identified a third class of exoplanets called gas dwarfs that fall in between the others. Well, that is super duper exciting and Thor News just got 17 extra silver points to Gryffindor for this announcement because I have been talking about one of the problems science has is that it has a tendency to oversimplify things probably thinking that the average Joe cannot handle the concept well you gotta teach people to be smarter if you want them to be smarter so there are definitely more types of worlds than just rocky worlds and gas giants we now have gas dwarfs because man Science is getting paid a dollar every time somebody says or uses the term dwarf. Like, do they have a short dictionary? You know, does everything have to have dwarf in it? Man, can't you? Can't we come up with some other words? Science than dwarf, dwarf planets, dwarf gas giants, dwarf stars, gas dwarfs, dwarf pancakes, dwarf jars of mayonnaise. These Gas dwarf alien planets have thick atmosphere, like their larger gas giant cousins, but they never quite made it to the size of the planetary behemoths, behemoths found in the Earth's outer solar system, researchers said. The team studied more than 600 planets discovered by NASA's badass super science robot camera, the Kepler Space Telescope, the Kepler Spa and the team then compared their sizes to the amount of elements other than hydrogen and helium contained in their star, a characteristic known as metallicity. All right, this video is Metal City, baby. We got an Iron Maiden in our midst. Gas Iron Maiden? For those out there, Iron Maiden was the greatest heavy metal band of all time. Did you know Jimi Hendrix invented heavy metal? That, that, what I just said is up for semantic debate, so don't get all butt hurt. Johnny be good. Metal boy. I know how you metal boys take metal as a religion. That's cool. I love metal. But I love, I mean, I, oh wait, I'm crazy. I love all types of good music. Alright, back to metallicity. Metal, metallicity, I'm guessing, is like how planets are plastic silicates. So it's like a silicate metal. You know, it's like a... If mercury, mercury is the only, the only example on earth that I know of where it's like liquid metal or like the bad guy in Terminator 2. See, I pegged it with Skynet. Skynet's here. Skynet's aware. Skynet's saying hello. We were particularly interested in probing the planetary regime smaller than four times the size of earth. I guess they like their circle shapes smaller i totally understand they must be nipple men planet nipples it's a science term look it up i don't have time to talk about it i'm talking about serious stuff here we just found a new type of planet man or we just defined a new type of planet was the io was the iau okay with this they're sensitive about stuff like that you know they will start entire tribal wars within astronomy over definitions don't believe me Check out the Pluto affair. All right, let's get back to scientists who enjoy probing. We were particularly interested in probing the planetary regime smaller than four times the size of Earth. 
because it includes three-fourths of the planets found by Kepler. Lead author Lars A. Bokave of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, CFA, said in a statement. He presented the findings today, June 2nd. He presented the findings today, June 2nd, here at the 2024-224, here at the 224th meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Boston. Maybe later, we'll get into the seven great exoplanet discoveries by Kepler. Maybe. That's where you, that, that's where you'll find rocky worlds, which are the only kinds that we would consider to be potentially habitable. Buck have said, that's where you'll find rocky worlds, where are the only kinds that we would consider potentially habitable. Asterisk, sweet. Love asterisks, man. And it makes it hot. Some like it hot. Okay, so we'll, we'll name it Canadian Amy Manger. I'm just kidding. She must have been busy. Milk and honey, baby. Give me some bread. Now give me some butter. Come on, sugar. It's jungle around here. This was the discovery announced earlier today during the 223rd meeting of the American Astronomical Society, or ASS. What is celestial physics? I always have to have sexual caramel undertones. This planet might have the same mass as Earth, but it is certainly not Earth-like. This chipper chappy cappy cap, Mr. Kipping, is of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. 